You know, it's been a whole week since this episode came out, and I'm still not over it yet. You know, I don't even mind watching the scene again. This was definitely the best animated My Hero Academia episode to date. And that's just a fact. Now, what I hope they do is that they show more of Infinite 100%. And, you know, I, I feel like that's not going to happen, though, since, you know, we kind of need Aerie on our back, and I don't think we're just going to carry her as a backpack everywhere. This animation still slaps! Oh my god, that's definitely one of my favorite parts right there. Oh my god, that One Punch Man type of shit right there. Okay, this is new. Okay, we, okay this is new stuff now. They did not show this in the last one! Why did you show that?! When he threw him down, when well, that was sick! Why did they leave that out? Yo, I totally forgot that Aizawa was still down here with this guy. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, he's saying that he's about to, you know, take on his legacy or whatever. Oh, he really about to take him out like that. Ooh! Who came in clutch? Oh, is that man Tamaki? Let's go! My man Tamaki! Oh, we got Mirio with him too! He said, don't forget about me. Who's that, Suyu? Okay, what's good? Miss Ribbit? Why is that so adorable, though? Honestly, I expected Chisaki to have, you know, something messed up under his mouth, but he just has a normal face, which is, I mean, it's alright, but you know. Eri, I mean, you can hop off my back now. I, I don't, you know, I, I might die if you, you stay on any longer. Are we really about to get more overhaul backstory in this episode? Oh, he's not dead yet? Wow. Okay, Eri's quirk did that to him. Yeah, um, Eri, please. Yo, he looks sick right there, though. Damn, so you're telling me Aerie's quirk is accelerating him faster than Deku at 100% right now. That's crazy. Her quirk is definitely overpowered. Yo, Aizawa? Oh, Aizawa! Aizawa! Yo! Oh my- Okay, so we actually can, you know, you know, kind of control her quirk a little bit. You know, if it goes out of, you know, if it goes haywire, Aizawa can just be there. Oh, that man came in clutch. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Toga and Twice are just chilling. <laughs> You're like, yeah, let's get out of here. Yeah, Fat Gum, Kirishima, I didn't forget about you. I still remember what you did. Don't worry. Yo, Deku and Mirio got to shine. I didn't forget about Tamaki. I didn't forget about you, Kirishima and Fat Gum. Don't worry. Rock Lock, you did your thing too. Okay, I feel you. Bro, stop, dude. Like, I, I don't want to cry right now again. Last episode, I almost cried. This episode, you about to make me cry. Oh my god, Night Eye, no! He still has the thing in his stomach! If it's a different future from what he saw, we have to take it. Do you really playing that You Say Run? Or what is that? Uh, to Become a Hero OST? Yeah, I'm shedding tears this episode. It's over. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I still have a hole in my stomach. You know, let, let the doctors take care of him for a little bit. Yeah, you better thank me. I'm the one that took down the whole boss. Give my boy Deku some credit. Complete. Okay, so the operation's done. All right, so we're good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Really? Shigaraki is coming? Oh my god. They got Dobby and everybody with them. What, what is with the Toga thigh shots? I mean, I don't mind them at all, but Bones, I see you. I really do. <laughs> they took twice his mask off. What the hell? Okay, first of all, why are we letting the police transport all of them with no heroes around? They just let the basic police transport them. No protection at all. Oh god, yeah, Dobby's coming through. Yeah, he about to... Oh, it's over. Oh, we do got heroes. Okay, thank god. Thank you, bro. Sand hero, I don't know who you are, but thank you. At least they prepared a little bit. Did they really just jump down into, like, the open road like that? Yo, these shots are right here going crazy right now. I don't know what a dude that looks like Dobby. I, I doubt he really cares, bro. I mean, just look at him. Oh, there we go. He got transformed into a, a marble. Are they really taking overhaul right now? Okay, yeah, they're just coming through to steal his, his, uh, the drugs right now. Okay, they're about to kill him, I guess. Damn, they really cutting up, cutting up his body like that. Man, that's kind of fucked up. They really just left him quirkless like that. Dude, my man overhaul looked defeated, dude. He, he, he's just done. He's done with life. Our turn. Okay, so are, are the League of Villains going to turn up right now on the heroes? Then that's it, I guess, for overhaul. He, he, I guess he's just... Gonna live his life as quirkless nothing. Or, I don't know, people are gonna find him on the side of the road or something like that. Deck. <laughs> they don't even know who he's like, who? Exactly, man. We're the one that beat Chisaki. Give me my credit. Damn, look at Deku's arm, bro. That shit looks like it's just all burnt off right now. Jesus. Yeah, can we, can we please check on Night Eye? Does he still have the hole in his stomach? 
Oh my god, look at Kirishima. He's he's wrapped up like a mummy. Tamaki, he'll be alright. He you know he, he he did some damage, but he'll be alright. Looks like everyone's, you know, pretty good right now. But we don't know about Night Eye. Also, I wonder if Eri is going to stick around now with like the cast of my hero. Or like I don't know if this was just her one off season, then you know they're gonna forget about her, but I don't know. You never know. Uh, probably not, because you know, if we're gonna go infinite one hundred percent again, we kinda need her. Unless, like I said before, um, Deku's body just gets used to it, maybe, or something like that, and then he can go to a higher percentage by himself. Exactly. Yo, Aizawa really did come in clutch, man. Like, that shit would have went way south if Aizawa didn't cancel a quirk out. All Maito is here? Hold on, bro. Ace the G, what's good? Wait, what? Oh, you did not. Oh, he's still alive. Never mind. He's still alive. He's not gonna live to see tomorrow? Oh, you cannot do this to me, bro. I'm about to just turn- I'm, I'm about- Honestly, I don't even want to watch anymore. Honestly, I, I really just don't want to watch anymore right now. Night Eye's sad. Bubble Girl's crying. Deku's sad. I, they're probably gonna play some emotional ass music. I, I'm really not trying to shed some tears right now, but... Really, dude? Night Eye? Yo, Night Eye! really proved himself in this you know in the raid because before i thought like okay he's you know he's bashing my dude deku or midoriya you know he's like he's like oh yeah I, mirio should have had one for all and all this stuff you know even if it was just you know training deku and all that stuff it's just like oh my god then he showed up he showed that he's really about this life and like he proved that he could be all might sidekick that man is strong as hell and he has a lot of sauce to him and, you know, he, he really came through. I feel like he was a really, really key important part of this arc. And to see that they're really, are they really about to kill him off like this? They can't, they can't kill him off like this. Hey, bring Ari real quick, bro. We need to just bring Ari in real quick. Exactly. Night Eye was always looking for a way to change All Might's future, no matter what. It might have to do with energy. Like actual energy. Oh no, just like the will to change the future. Okay, that's what he's talking about. Bro, you cannot lie. These shots are going insane right now, bro. Oh, Midoriya's crying. I can feel the tears coming for me too. You're really about to bring Mirio in here too, bro. That's it for me. You're really about to bring Mirio in here too, man. I honestly don't even want to say anything for this scene. I just want to let the scene speak for itself right now. Oh shit. Okay, he's using his... His foresight. What about Mirio? Okay, it'll be fine. Bro, bro, as soon as the light left from his eyes, I think that's the thing that fucking broke me right there, dude. Yo, I don't give a f- I, I don't care, dude. F in the chat right now, or F in the comment section for that man Night Eye. I don't care, dude. I, I will tolerate no Night Eye slander in my comment section, in my DMs, if you d- no matter what, bro. I will tolerate no Night Eye slander. I have so much respect for this dude. Man, dude, I can't believe he actually went out like this. <sighs> and he, damn, bro. He smiled at the end, too? Why are you pulling at my heartstrings right now? The ending was kind of out of place. I'm not even going to lie. I, I kind of wish they, they didn't have this ending, but it's fine. I, I don't even know what to say. Like I said, I, I really didn't want to say anything during that scene. I was kind of just letting it play out. Most of the episode was just them, you know, obviously wrapping up the investigation and stuff like that. Or the raid, I should say. Uh, we got a little preview in the beginning about what happened last episode. I, I don't know why they left that shot out about Midoriya. Uh, uh, with Midoriya, like, throwing Overhaul down to the ground. I thought that was sick. Um, You know, they showed everybody that helped with the raid. Kirishima, Fat Gum. Uh, Tamaki, everyone got their shine. 
And then, of course, at the end, that man Night Eye. You know, it, it happened. It did what it had to do. That man's gone, dude. He's gone. He, he looked into Mirio's future, though, and he, he said that Mirio was going to be fine, which I'm kind of interested in because I wonder if Mir Mirio is going to get his power uh, back then. Because we do still have Aerie, obviously. And Aerie can just rewind. Because over, I know over, Aerie can rewind people back, but Overhaul did say that she can rewind, rewind Quirks back too, so I'm kind of curious, but I guess we're going to see the preview or maybe the, okay, it's preview. Okay, so we back at the dorm right now. Are we really about to go into another like arc like this, dude? That was the calm before the storm. There's no way you guys are about to pull something like this. Are we really have to go fight the League of Villains now after we just got done fighting the Yakuza? Like that's kind of what I was wondering about this arc I mean, I mean obviously we saw the villains to deal with but like where where could we go with this that we need a season five and beyond because like i feel like we took the yakuza out now we're back to just a league of villains i feel like deku right now is to a point honestly i feel like everybody right now is to a point that i feel like we're we're extremely strong like if we somehow can figure out how to harness Ares' power at least with just Midoriya. Well, like, we don't even need her to help with anybody else. We honestly will we'll just win. So, like, I don't know. I'm kind of wondering where this would take us. Um, I'm just excited to see because, I mean, first of all, I know a lot of people said that this was their favorite season. Or people said this was going to be the hypest season of My Hero Academia so far. It was going to be the best arc. Would I say this is the hypest season so far? I would not say this is the hypest season so far. Would I say this is one of the most gripping, one of the most, I guess, emotional seasons that I've seen? Yes. Now, the season's not over yet, but I would feel that there was a lot of stuff in this arc that I... It was, it was fairly slow. I'm not even gonna lie here. <clears throat> I mean, I still enjoyed it to the fullest a lot, obviously, because I haven't read the manga, like I said, many times before. So, this was my first time seeing everything. And from face value, I would say that it was fairly slow at some parts. But when it ramped up, it really ramped up. Now, did I think it was to the point to where I would call this maybe the best arc in my hero? No, I would not say that because there were some points where I'm like, okay, I mean, it, it was cool. Don't get me wrong. I give it its credit. It was it was cool. But, you know, just because they have infinite 100% Deku and it was like really, really like good animation in that episode. And, you know, it was a really good climax. That doesn't really justify the whole arc if that makes sense like oh that one scene made up for the whole arc it's not like the scene saved the arc in any way shape or form but like i just feel like there was a lot more consecutive hype moments in previous seasons than just in this season but overall i would give this season like a maybe like a maybe like an eight right now so far um but yeah like i said I, I don't really know uh the other half which you know obviously they're i guess they have to fight the villains right now but i'm just I, i'm content with what they gave us so far i, I really love this arc with night eye and everybody i loved all i loved all the new characters i absolutely loved all the new characters that's another thing i gotta give them bro uh fat gum uh kirishima's not a new character but i like that they gave him a shine uh tamaki mirio and everybody bubble girl even like the dragon girl that you know that came through like i just i loved all the characters that they showed you know so i guess i'm just excited to see how they're gonna continue this right now because that was the end of the arc right there so um i don't i don't really know i'm, I'm just i'm hopeful i'm hopeful i guess but yeah everybody that's gonna be it for today's video leave in the comments down below um what you thought of this season overall um, so far at least, you know, because obviously we saw the other half, but uh, just leave me in the comments down below. Let me know uh, what you think of it. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy today's video. And other than that, guys, uh, it's been real. It's been your boy Ivory, and peace out.